Let's talk about chaos, real chaos. Imagine a world where everything is supposedly perfect, yet you're greeted by 13 massive black widows crawling across your lawn. That's the world Sean created. A world where exploding grass, demon monkeys, and nuclear level betrayals aren't glitches, they're features. It's Minecraft, but it feels more like Cold War diplomacy on steroids. And who better to guide us through this absolute mayhem than Sean, the self-proclaimed genius who thinks he's playing 4D chess while everyone else is dodging his TNT traps? Sean doesn't just play Minecraft. He turns it into a psychological experiment. He manipulates, he lies, he gaslights, and the worst part, his friends know it, but they still fall for it every single time. Why? Because Sean's brand of chaos is magnetic. He'll rig the grass to explode, steal your villagers, and laugh maniacally while you scramble to survive his newest nuclear scenario. Remember when Puff joined in? Poor guy didn't know what he signed up for. Puff thought he was logging into a game, he walked into a cinematic masterpiece of destruction. Send this video to a friend and ask them, would you survive Sean's Minecraft? But here's the thing, it's not just Sean, it's the players he surrounds himself with, Kim, Robert, Shadow, all bringing their unique brands of idiocy to the table. Robert blows himself up more times than I can count, dies because he gets stuck in Sean's house, and Shadow, Clueless half the time, but somehow still standing when the dust settles. Together, they create a tapestry of chaos so rich, you'd think Michael Bay directed it. And then there are the technical issues, the freezing screens, the random jumps. Think your Wi-Fi's acting up? Nope. Just Sean's signature touch to keep you on edge. Even the bugs in this world feel deliberate. It's like the universe itself is conspiring to troll the players, and we're just here for the ride. Here's the kicker. This isn't Minecraft, it's war. Cold War diplomacy meets the Hunger Games with a dash of sheer stupidity. Everyone's playing chess, but Sean's out here flipping the board and laughing while you pick up the pieces. It's messy, it's infuriating, and it's absolutely brilliant. If you haven't watched it yet, what are you doing? Stop whatever you're doing, studying, working, eating breakfast, and dive into this explosive cinematic chaos. And don't just watch it, share it. Send it to a friend who thinks they can handle it. Ask them, would you survive Sean? Spoiler alert, the answer is no.